Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank God for another time to meet in the Reverend Dikenja Samonets. Today we are being encouraged by the word of God from the book of Luke chapter number 5. Luke chapter number 5 from verse 4. Verse number 5, verse 4 and 5. And this is the ending of this topic of today. That be patient the Lord is near you. Be patient, the Lord is near you. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, this is Jesus, put out into the deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked and all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. I repeat, Simon answered, Master, we have worked all dinner, all, we have worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. This was a time when Jesus was pre preaching at the shores of the Sea of Galilee. And Peter being a fisherman, or a fisherman, you know most of the fishing is done during the night. So this is the morning, and Jesus comes, and these people, the fishermen, are just washing their nets and waiting now for the another night out to prepare their nets where they are broken so that they can mend them and prepare, make everything that everything is ready as they go to rest and come at night to go now to fish again. And unfortunately for that night, Peter and caught nothing with his people, with his fishermen, with the, his boats, not anything had he been able to catch. And he says, when Jesus comes and tells him, now Peter, because I've used your boat to speak and to preach the people of God, I would like you now to go again into the deep and cast your net down. Then you are going to catch something. Then Simon answers, Master, we have worked all night. There are times in your life that you feel, Lord, I've worked all night. I've spent my money into this sickness. I've given my best into this career, into this profession, into this company, into this job. I've done so much. I feel exhausted. I'm tired. I'm about to give up. You see, I've done my best for this marriage to stand. I've sacrificed. I've, you know, expedited myself to make sure that things go on well. I've given this my son everything that he can think of. My daughter, everything that they can think of. But even at this time, I feel tired. There is nothing else that I can do because I've invested so much into this relationship. I've invested so much into this business. I've given so much into this. But unfortunately, it is not working. And this is the place that Peter was. This was the place that Peter was. He felt that, Lord, I've worked the whole night and I've caught nothing. I've caught nothing. I haven't caught anything. You feel like you have given so much and you have received so little or you haven't even received anything. And you feel, why God? Why should I give so much? Why should I invest so much into this friendship and the people are still back, you know, backstabbing me, they're betraying me, they're selling me out. I don't have a true friend. When it is my time, I always keep their secrets. I always encourage them. I always wish them well. But when it is my turn, they, you know, they, they turn their back against me. Today, I've come to tell you something. Be patient. Be patient because the Lord is with you. And this is what Peter says. But because you say so. But because you say so, Lord. Kwa sababu wewe umesema mfame. 
then I will let the net down, taking the Lord by his word. Because you are saying so, the Lord is telling you that your marriage will not be destroyed in Jesus' name. The Lord is telling you that your business will stand. The Lord is telling you that your relationship will, you know, will be good. The Lord is telling you that your sons and daughters are going to be responsible people. The Lord is telling you that you shall not be barren. You are going to hold a baby from your womb in Jesus mighty name. The Lord is telling you my brother, my sister that you should not be discouraged. I am with you. What I want to tell you is that no, the Lord is speaking a word for you. And this word is out for you. Take it as Peter took it and said, because you say so, I will go and lower the nets. And when he did so, he got such a large catch and he was not able even to take it. And he was able to call the neighbors and friends and tell them, come, come, come and help me because the nets are breaking. Today, in Jesus' mighty name, whatever your area of depravity, the Lord is coming in your situation and he is making it to unbound in Jesus' name. It doesn't matter how long you have toiled. Peter and he toiled the whole night. But do not be discouraged. The Lord is with you. He is about to speak a word in your situation. He is about to speak a word in your family. He is about to speak a word in your job. He is about to speak your word to this, con his word to this country. He is about to speak life and everything that is dead. Father. In the name of Jesus, I release a new blessing, a new favor, a new power, my God, upon my listener and my viewer today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, it doesn't matter how they have toiled. It doesn't matter how they have invested. It doesn't matter what they have given. But, Lord, I know at their point of depravity, Lord, at their point of giving up, Lord, that is when you come and you are telling them, revive, revive again, be revived again, because I I am about to do something great. Father, have your way. Have your way, Lord, in their lives. As they go out, my Father, as they come in, King of Glory, may they know that you have a word for them. In the name of Jesus, we pray and give thanks. Amen.